and welcome to another video. This is Saturday, it's about nine o'clock and I'm on my way to a hairdresser appointment. My friend Koji, who I met through farm work, is a hairdresser and he works at a really cool salon in Sydney that specializes in really alternative hair looks. I'm gonna stick to my original natural color. I've never dyed my hair before, but it's really unhealthy. As much as I love long hair, I don't want it to be long and gross. So I'm going to go for maybe long layers or maybe bangs. I haven't fully decided. I'm going to maybe ask Koji for some advice. And after that, I'm going to meet up with a friend who I met in Uluru. He's here in Sydney for a week. So I might do something like touristy with him. And then Luke is working till late. So I'm going to catch up with him later in the day for some lovely Spanish food. So this is the final look. Koji worked his magic and he gave me some layers in the front and back, thinned it out as well and it looked so good styled. I just want to try and maintain it. Met Nando, my flight bud at Rusty Rabbit in Darlinghurst Cafe here and after that we did some touristy stuff. <laughs> After walking around the opera house, we walked along the Harbour Bridge, which is something I've never done before. Also, it's worth looking up Pylon Lookout. It's on the bridge and it's just a really good viewpoint of all of Sydney. And last touristy stop of the day, Barangaroo. I've been meaning to go here for so long, so I'm really happy I came. There's a lot of upmarket restaurants and bars, but we just chilled out at this waterfront spot. <laughs> watched any of my weekend vlogs I'm sure you know where we're off to brunch of course so this place is in Surrey Hills <laughs> so today we went for brekkie I played a bit of piano and now we are doing the Malabar headland walk very excited found a couple of abandoned houses along the way. They're very interesting. I feel like they could be done up really cool. The circuit walk is really doable. I believe it's 7K and the first part is so nice because it's coastal and we're just walking around bush. Who are you trying to be? I look a little bit rough, but happy that my hair fits into this mini ponytail. Yesterday, we ended the day just watching the series on Netflix, Manifest, that we're both really, really invested in right now. It's very good, supernatural. I was trying to clean up the place a little bit because we have a home inspection this afternoon, but we're both gonna be in work for it. And then later on today, I'm gonna meet up with a friend from home and a group of other random people that we've never met. We're gonna play bowling and laser tag, so very excited for that. Ooh, an updated home tour. We have these two stools now. If you watched my Easter video, that's the chair that goes nicely with the keyboard. We have this sofa, the white cushions, this lamp, and our TV on our table. And these little coasters, which are so cute. We picked them up on St. Paddy's Day at these markets. But I really have to go, it's super late as it is. So yeah, bye. I am just back from work. I had a little bit of time to spare, so I'm gonna shower and get ready for bowling. Work was so hard this morning. It doesn't help when you don't get enough sleep. But I realized that the salad that I had with my dinner last night had cheese in it. And I swear, every time I eat cheese before bed, I just have the worst dreams. Not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> 
I went to one of Rachel's Lost and Found in Sydney meetups. If you're living in Sydney, I'm sure you've heard of her. And if you are coming over here, you should definitely follow her Instagram. She does so many different meetups for girls, guys, couples, you name it. I've gotten so into avocado on toast here in Australia, so this is my staple lunch. Since living in Sydney, I've started Pilates and I used to do ballet as a child, so I find there's a lot of crossover between both. I really enjoy it. I sometimes go in the morning, sometimes after work, so this was just an evening session. When you get layers, I'm not used to this weird bit of French. I'm not going to bother with a morning routine because there's plenty of videos out there that are really aesthetic. My morning is starting now at 11. Once I get this hair up, I think that's pretty good. So plan of action is once I get my coffee, I'll be able to actually make a plan. I do want to try and go to the library and get a nice book to read. Oh my God. I need to get my picture taken just to send documentation about my work qualifications. I also want to maybe do like a face mask and just chill out so come along with me bingo <music> I take my temperature, I try and take it every day um, just to track my period. I said it before, I think in another video, I used to really panic coming up to my period, say day 30, and if it hadn't come, I had issues with my period in the past where it would go for a couple of months and then it would come back. Luckily, I actually have had it religiously every month for about three years. Also, I was on the contraceptive pill for a year and I think that really messed with my whole body. I know people have good things to say about it and other people have bad things. Personally, not a fan. It's actually way warmer than I expected it to be. I'm literally in a t-shirt and sweating. <music> my digital photo taken and the guy was not that friendly and I don't know I used to take all that kind of stuff so personally and it would affect the rest of my day but also picked up this like sports bra picked up an acai bowl on the way home at Oakberry and Koji love 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 this acai Acai bowl was insane. I love oakberry so much. It's just so sweet, so delish. And yeah, I think in that last clip when I was like mad about the photographer at that place, this was what I was trying to show you. So can I even show you this time? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's so cute. I love the color brown. I think maybe because I have brown hair, brown eyes, I feel like it just matches my skin quite well. So really happy I got that in cotton on for $10. It was on sale. Love a good sale. It's like a quarter to two right now. So I am probably just gonna clean up all the mess in this house. It 
it's much later today i was editing for a good bit i realized that today i sounded so freaking sassy and i actually had a really good day it's just i don't know the eye rolls that were caught on camera today were something else i am sipping on some tea right now i tried phoning my best friend from ireland but she didn't pick up it's been an ongoing thing us both missing each other's calls so hopefully we can sort that out and catch up very soon my catch sunset haven't decided yet Today is Thursday and I like to call Thursday's celebration Thursday. It was the day I was born and Luke and I have just made it a thing like even when we were dating back in Ireland we would try and meet up on a Thursday and do something. I'm just sitting here with my breakfast. I have a tea. Just a normal breakfast tea and my brekkie for the day. I have some granola, Weetabix, banana, berries, some cinnamon and milk and a little bit of peanut butter. I will catch you probably having my ice cream in the next clip. That's what we're doing this Thursday. The best way to end a long week. My work colleague brought these face masks back with her from Korea and she was nice enough to give us some. And your mask? Hmm? Your face mask. Lemon. She's coming. 